When you're factoring a quadratic polynomial in two variables and the leading coefficient is uh, greater than 1, this is just like what you've done before here, but if the y and the y squared wasn't here, you had 3x squared plus 7y minus 20, you're going to factor this the same way. Okay, so what the method I like to use is to go ahead and multiply this first and this last term value, the 3 times a negative 20 and get a negative 60. So you're looking for two numbers that are going to, going to multiply to negative 60 but add to your middle, middle term 7. Okay, so you start breaking down 60. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, right? 4, let's see, 4 will work because I can divide this 30 in half one more time, so 4 times 15, 5 times, let's see, 12, 6, yeah, I know 6 is works also because it's 6 times 10. It's pretty easy, right? And so if there's no other numbers that you can use in between 6 and 10, so, you know, 7 doesn't work, 8 doesn't work, 9 doesn't work, you can't divide 60 by any of those numbers, then these are your only possibilities, okay? So if I'm multiplying to get a negative number, but I'm adding to get a positive number, okay, what does that tell you about these two numbers? Their signs. If I'm multiplying to get a negative, that means I have one negative and one positive. And if when I'm adding them together I get a positive, that means my smaller number is the negative. My larger number is positive. So now I'm going to look at these and see which one of these, when I add together, gives me a 7. Okay, and it's going to be a negative 5 and a positive 12. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite this middle term, 7xy, using the negative 5 and the positive 12. Okay, so we rewrite our other terms, 3x squared minus 5xy plus 12xy minus 20y squared. And then what you're going to do is you're going to common factor. So you're going to group these, actually, remember when you have four terms, you group and then common factor out of each group. So what can I take out of both of these? Well, the only thing they have in common is an x. So I common factor out the x, and that leaves me with 3x minus 5y. Right, so if I distribute the x back in here, that's what I get. Okay, now what I look over here at the other group, and I think, what can I divide both of these by? I can see I can divide them both by a 4 and a y. So I common factor out a positive 4y, so I put plus 4y, and um, 4 times 3 gives me 12, and I need an x, okay, and then here I have a negative 20 divided by a positive 4 would give me a negative 5, so minus 5, and I need one more y, so that when you multiply these together it gives me the negative 20y squared, okay. So now here's the deal. These things, these two factors, or the two things left in your parentheses here need to be the same. So you're looking at one group right here and another group right here, and you see that they both have a 3x minus 5y. So what we're going to do is we're going to common factor one more time. So I take a 3x minus 5y out of both of these. And what does that leave me with over here in this group of terms? It leaves me with just an x. So I put the x. And if I take when I take the 3x minus 5y out of this group, it leaves me with just a 4y, plus 4y. Now you can double check that you did this correctly by going ahead and distributing and adding like terms and seeing if you get this value right here. Okay, so there's always a way to check to make sure you did it correctly. So 3x times x is 3x squared. Negative 5y times a positive 4y gives me my 20, negative 20y squared. And it's the middle term then that you really need to check here. Negative 5y times x is a negative 5xy. And then you check these two, you multiply those together, that gives you 12xy, and you can see they add together to give you your 7xy. So it works, that's your check. This is your solution. These are your factors. Okay, let's look at another one really quickly. 
um, 2x squared minus 17xy plus 21y squared. Again, remember we multiply the first and the last coefficients, 2 times 21 gives you 42. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 42, but add to give me my negative 17. Okay, so you always look at your possibilities of things that multiply to give you 42 first. So 1 times 42, 2 times 21, C3, yes, 3 times 14, 4 work, nope. This is not an even number, so I cannot divide 42 by 4. So 5, nope, 6, yes. And I know 6 works because 2 and 3 are both factors of 42. So let's see, this will be 6 times 7. Okay, plus you, most of you remember 6 times 7 is 42. <laughs> okay, so you're multiplying two numbers to get a positive. That means you have two positives or two negatives. And I look at my addition and I'm adding them to get a negative. So my answer, these must both be negatives in order to multiply to get a positive, but add to get a negative. Which ones of these add to give me a negative 17? Well, that's a negative 3 and a negative 17. Excuse me, and a negative 14. So I'm going to rewrite negative 17xy using my negative 3 and my negative 14. So let's see. I'm going to rewrite this as 2x squared minus 3xy minus 14xy plus 21y squared. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now remember you're going to group. You're going to common factor. The only thing I can common factor out of the first part is an x. And that leaves me with 2x minus 3y. That doesn't always happen that way. It just happened in these two cases. What can I divide both of these by? Well, a 7. And I want this to be a positive and then a negative. So I'm going to common factor out a negative 7 and a y. Okay, so... Negative 7y times what gives me negative 14xy? Well, that would be 2 and an x. Okay, and then a negative times what will give me a positive 21y squared? Well, a negative times a negative will give me the positive. And a negative 7 times a... So a negative 7 times a negative 3 would give me a positive 21. And I have 1y, so I need one more y also. Okay, so you can see these are the same, which I want that to be the case, so I can common factor those out. I take a 2x minus 3y out of both of these terms, so if I take it out of this term, it leaves me with an x, and if I take it out of this term here, it leaves me with a minus 7y. And those, that is your solution. Again, you can go ahead and check it. 2x times x, 2x squared, negative 3y times negative 7y is a positive 21y squared. These middle terms here multiply to give you a negative 3xy, and then you multiply the last and it gives you a negative 14xy. Negative 14 and negative 3 adds to give you negative 17. So you checked, made sure it works.